Hello YouTube and thank you for watching. Uh, today I want to share a wonderful tool uh, that um, I've been using for a couple months. It is uh, open source and free um, and uh, it's a great aid uh, to get a visual representation of what is currently happening in the database and a wonderful troubleshooting tool uh, when a user calls uh, the DBA to report a problem. It's called the Ash Viewer uh, and I'll leave a link in the uh, description where to uh, download. Uh, for those of you that have uh, worked with the Oracle Enterprise Manager, uh, this um, Ash um, Active Session History View should be uh, very familiar. Uh, for those that um, are unfamiliar, um, you can Google uh, Oracle Enterprise Manager um, Ash Analytics, and there's uh, tons of uh, information to learn uh, more about this uh, technology. So in this scenario that I'm simulating, a uh, user uh, calls the DBA uh, to report uh, application slowness. Uh, their page is not refreshing uh, and, and uh, the, the application is uh, timing out. And this started uh, somewhere around uh, 9.20 um, a.m. this morning, which is about uh, half an hour ago. So. Uh, the DBA would connect to the database uh, using this um, Ash viewer uh, and gets to see a visual uh, representation of database activity uh, in the last uh, one hour. Uh, this is pulled from the uh, Vidal Active Session uh, History view and I can see that uh, somewhere around 9.20 in the morning uh, there was a concurrency issue. Over here on the right hand side, uh, we have the weight class to identify the, uh, the type of uh, activity. Over here on the left is the number of um, concurrent um, active sessions. Over here on the left, uh, there's uh, three top SQLs uh, that were identified in this range here. Um, two of them uh, were concurrency related. Uh, one of them uh, was uh, CPU uh, utilization uh, related. So. Let's go and see what the first query was doing. And we can see that uh, it's a select for update, which will place a lock on the table T. A second qu query is trying to update uh, table T. Uh, and uh, this uh, update statement is currently getting blocked. And the third query was doing a Cartesian join. Uh, which is a very uh, CPU uh, intensive uh, type of query. The solution to this problem uh, would be to kill the um, open transaction uh, and that will allow the update statement uh, to proceed. You can also view the uh, raw data uh, for the time range that you have selected. And also, uh, it has an ASH report uh, functionality uh, for the uh, time range that you have selected. This is a really great tool uh, if you manage a lot of instances um, and need to troubleshoot um, user reported issues uh, very quickly. Um, hope you found this uh, information useful and thank you for watching.